Hello, hello, hello. Is everyone there? Hello, Roger. How are you, mate? Yeah, not too bad. Can you, okay? can you hear me okay? Yes, I can, mate. Simon, are you uh, you all okay? Lovely, lovely. Um, let me just make sure we're in record a minute. Which we are. Bob's your uncle there. Okay, Roger, do you want to kick us off? Yeah, sure. That's okay. Okay, well, thanks for speaking to us. Um, end of day three, a, a long way to go, um, a lot of runs to make. What is the plan as England go into these next couple of days? I think it's just to keep staying positive. We've got stroke makers in the group and we want them to keep expressing themselves. And I think that was, that's been one of the strengths over the three test matches we've played so far in the subcontinent. It's, it's still trying to score. You know, I think if we sit there and try and defend for two days, we're not going to have much success. We're not going to go anywhere in the game, but we can certainly look to learn a lot about ourselves by, by looking at the score. I think Dan Lawrence was fantastic to um, the way he played this evening was exactly how he wants to play cricket and how he can contribute to this team. So it was good to see him go and do that. Uh, Ashwin and Coley showed that um, you can get runs on this wicket despite the criticism that it's had. Can you take something from that? Of course, uh, I think Ashwin and Coley were fantastic. Coley right from the first innings where, you know, maybe his feet we work were as, not as, um, I suppose they were probably a touch lazy compared to they were in the second innings. I thought he was fantastic the way he got down to the ball, the way he got across the stumps, um, the way he forced us to bowl to areas that he wanted us to bowl into. And, and we need to take heed from that, um, especially with the way Ashwin came out and swept early, got the field he wanted, and then was be able to manip uh, can manipulate the, the lengths from there. They're in a really strong position. There's no doubt about that. But we're going to have to work really hard to try and grab some of that back. In a tough day for England. Do you look, do you look for individual positives? Do you look the spinners took some wickets there as well. Ben Fogg's behind the stumps as well. Of, of course, there's, there's positives all throughout any game of cricket. And it doesn't matter whether you're on the winning side or not. Um, I think the fantastic thing is Moelle's bowled 60 overs in a test match and taken eight wickets and probably should have had nine or ten. Um, Jack Leach has continued his improvements. Folks, he comes back in and, and in his first game for a long time, uh, impresses with bat and ball so far. So there's still lots to do, but you know, there's these match winners in this group, and we've seen that before. I'm not I'm not about to say that, you know, we're hundred percent gonna win this game, but what I am gonna say is we'll, we'll shake a stick at it. And just finally from me, um, there's been a lot of talk about the third umpire, some of the decisions as well. Did, but did Joe Root get away with one towards the end there? Well, look, let's be honest. I would have been disappointed if it was given not out. Um, you know, it looked like, to be fair, live, it, it looked like it may have hit him outside the line, but then you watched the replay and it was pretty close. And the umpire's call is close enough, isn't it? Okay, thanks a lot. I'll let someone else jump in. Cheers. Boris. Simon Mann, please. Uh, Gene, uh, Jack Leach, four for 100, Moen Ali, four for 98. Were you perhaps a bit disappointed, frustrated? The spinners didn't have an even bigger impact today on a surface like that? Well, they, they, had a, they certainly had a big impact this morning. Um, maybe the ball was newer, maybe it was harder. Um, the impact this morning was fantastic, and they almost set up the game to really go away. Then a couple of chances, half, really half chances, didn't go away. Um, ball, did the ball get soft? Possibly. Um, but I, I'm, I'm not disappointed. I think they put in a hell of a net, but 60 overs each. You know, they have one session off in three days. And, and that's not, it's not how you win test matches, Simon. So I think for them, they'll, they'll, take, they'll be tired tonight. They'll be tired tomorrow. But they should, we should take a lot of positives and confidence out of that. Moen has returned to the side after not being in the middle for a long period. I mean, how difficult is that, you know, as a former spinner yourself and spin bowling coach? And, and how do you think he's gone in general? Yeah, look, I, I think he's been really good. Um, I think initially he showed signs of nerves and maybe a touch anxious about how it will go for him. But as the game went on, he himself was really positive about how he was doing his job. And, and it's good to see. What have you been working on with England spinners? Uh, well, obviously, consistency is always going to be that one that every spinner would strive for. But for me, it's plans around how we're going to play the game in the subcontinent and how the subcontinent players will play us. So I've asked them to bowl really straight at times and when the wicket allows it to go wider. Um, but for me, it's just trying to get as, as much as take wickets, it's how we're going to control the rate. Um, they put us under pressure a lot of the time. They try to hit boundaries. They 
recognised that from that first game, that we were happy to go at twos, threes and over new, knowing there would be opportunities at times. And, and I think in this game here, in this test match, they put us on the back, on the back foot early doors and, um, and they've paid some rewards for it. Too many full tosses, too many four balls? Uh, oh, look, I mean, when you're, you're striving to hit the foot marks like they are, um, with lots of spin on it, there's going to be variation in lengths. That's fine. That's understandable. And like I said, they have bought a lot of overs recently. Um, it's taken a toll on them. I'm not saying that's an excuse. Uh, they're just, just part of the reason as to where, what the inconsistencies are about. Um, we, that's the reason probably why we left Don Best out, didn't we? Because he's had a high workload um, and he looked tired at the back end of the test match with a three-day turnaround. You know, it was better off for him to take time out of the game and then and then come back for that third test, hopefully, in a minute bit. Thank you very much. Thank you. We've got time for uh, four more now, please. Tim Wigmore, George DeBell, uh, but first uh, Rory Dollard, and then finally uh, Dean Wilson. Rory, please. Hi, Gene. Just um, on, on the pitch um, itself, you'll, you'll be aware, no doubt, that it's created all kinds of uh, extreme opinions as, as social media tends to do as a former spinner I just wonder if you could give us your your take on on the contest between bat and ball and whether it's something England perhaps needs to be a bit more uh, understanding of when when they arrive on pitches like this that it's part of the game oh, I think everyone knows when you come to the subcontinent the pitch is going to spin we, the first test in Sri Lanka span, the ball spun from ball one um so I think we understand it all as, as a playing group. Um, maybe it's an educational thing for someone outside the group, but, you know, you're in the subcontinent, wicked spin. They don't seem around as much. The ball gets soft quicker. It doesn't swing as much. So there has to be something in the wicket. This one, has it accelerated a bit quickly? Probably so. But that is also playing in the subcontinent, just like when teams come to England or go to other Places in the world where it seems round for two longer periods, or the overheads affect the wicket. It's it's just cricket in different parts of the world. Uh, hi, 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 Jeeton. Um, on on Moen, he said he was going to go home. Planning to go home after the, these two tests. Is that still the situation? I look to be honest with you, mate. I, I'd love to be able to answer that question, but I can't. I'm not. I'm not privy to that information. To be honest with you. Um, once this test match is over, I'm sure I'll know. I think we'll all know what the situation is. We'll be able to go. From um, and from your point of view, it's Mo's first test for, uh, eight, yes, his training 19 and yeah, eight wickets. Are you, are you pretty pleased with how he's gone? Oh, man, I'm stoked for him. I'm just disgusted for him that he didn't get a fight, but really, he probably deserved it. If not two, you know, probably deserved 10 in the match. I think he bowled well enough. He bowled enough good balls to be able to get that, but it just didn't quite work out for him. And look, Ava, I'm sure he'll be very pleased with that on his comeback test match to be able 60 overs to contribute like he has. The one thing he's probably got left now is another contribution with the bat. George DeBell, please. Good day, Jeeves. Um, Hello. I just, I just wanted to talk about mowing again, please. Um, obviously, there are one or two loose balls in there, but... But his good deliveries, are you able to quantify how good they are compared to other off-spinners you've seen? Could it seem that his best is very, very good? Uh, look, I, I don't know how you quantify it, mate. You, you see it like I see it. I think they're, they're amazing deliveries. They shake away from the right-handed bat. Um, they dip. They hit the wicket hard and they spin big. So I don't know what, what more people would want. Um, look, as you said, it's his first game back. Uh, he's had two weeks of intense training. Does that prepare you to play test cricket in India? Well, maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, it's, uh, I think his rewards show that he's close enough, that he's good enough, um, and he'll certainly be better for the Do you think out. it will have done enough to encourage him to want to play a bit more test cricket more often? Uh, I, I'm hopeful, mate. I, I love watching Mo play cricket. I love watching Mo bowl in any form of cricket, and I think he's got a lot to offer this group, especially around the changing room. So I, I hope that it's enough of a carrot for him. I hope. I suppose the one thing that I think Mo wanted or needed out of the cricket, especially Rebel cricket, was a bit of love from the game, and I think he's got that. And hopefully, he can score some runs and, and really fall in love with Rebel cricket again. Thanks a lot. Cheers. No worries. Last of all, please, Dean Wilson. Thank you. 
Uh, yeah, hi, hi, Jeez. I'm not sure what your view of, of this is, but when you see the opposition captain remonstrating with the umpires on a couple of occasions, once when he was batting, I think, running down the middle of the pitch, and then obviously at the back end there with Joe Root's um, LBW appeal, um, what, what do you make of that? I mean, like, it's not for me to, to comment on it, really, to be honest with you, Dino. It's, it's the way they play cricket here, you know. It, he revs up the crowd. He gets really involved, and it's probably one of his strengths. He needs to be. I feel he plays at his best when he's passionate and he's excited about what's happening, and he's got his influence. Uh, whether it's when I say influence, I think immense um, excitement and passion for the game, and he showed that again today. And you know, he scored what was a, a pretty innings, a game-changing innings, really. Him and Ashwin, and and he needs those sort of things to to stay up and. It's just the way Viren Kali plays, and he does it very well. Uh, and there's no issue with, with that in terms of pushing it too far or anything, because obviously, you know, you're, you're talking about it potentially helping him. Uh, that's obviously oh, look, Dino, disadvantaging. Look, hey, to, to be honest with you, mate, it's, that's not for me to to get involved in. It's, that's a match referees or whoever or, you know, people who watch the game or whatever, they can make their decision on that. That's just, for me, that's the way he plays his cricket. It's the way he gets the best out of himself. It's the way he gets the best out of the crowd and, and his teammates follow him with it. So, look, that's India at their best in India. I'll, I'll put it another way. Then you played against Virat four times. He scored 100 and a double 100 uh, against yes. you. Um, how, 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 how do you cope with that as a player then when, when you're up against not only the skill of the man, but also the passion of the man? <sighs> It's cool. It's cool to see, mate. It's cool to watch that he cares. And it's cool for me. Like, I, I played cricket pass when I played. When I played, it was years ago now. Um, <laughs> I was passionate as well. So like, I needed that. And I can see why he does it because it gets him, it gets him up. It gets him going. Great. Thanks, Jeez. Thanks very much, everyone. Take care. Good night.